Hello, hi, how are you doing? All the salutations. <laughs> My name is Elena, homeschooling mama to three kiddos. Here on the channel, we talk about everything from homeschooling, homemaking, all the things in between. If you've been here before, you know all that. If you haven't, nice to meet you. We're gonna talk about our goals or what we're kind of doing as we're going into this new year. First, we're gonna have some coffee. Okay, so if you are not new, you probably have seen that goals are not a new thing here on my channel. I like to come in monthly and talk about how we kind of resetting the month, wrap up the month before, and put down our intentions or goals for the upcoming month. Last year at this time, I sat down with my husband and we did some family goals. Um, this year, it's just me. Uh, we did talk a little bit around the kitchen table one evening, me and the family, and discussed our goals um, our intentions for the year as we got started off is just a really informal chat and it was great. It was good to hear my little kiddos what they're setting out for the new year. Now my oldest is 15 so he's 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 still a child but he's not so young um, and then I have a nine-year-old daughter and a seven-year-old son who is on the spectrum. So even down to my seven-year-old we talked about what what they were looking forward to in the new year and what are some things that they maybe wanted to change a little or include what kind of intentions and goals that they had so it was really fun to hear that if you want to hear more about my families and their goals let me know and i'll see if we can put together some kind of video or something to let you know and share how that went down but for me personally i think this year what i'm going to into the year doing is having some more fluid type goals and what i mean by that is that I'm going to put some soft place goals into place or intentions and give myself room and grace if it doesn't always fall through. I think a lot of times we can head into the new year and we can be like, I'm gonna change all these things and I'm gonna get all these things done. And there's something about the fresh start of a new year that just feels really great and it feels like the time to start new habits, build up new new habits or new systems, um, get rid of maybe some habits that aren't serving us. But me especially, I can put too much on my plate and expect too much. And then when I don't check off all the boxes, I'm disappointed or I find it easier to get rid of the other things that maybe I would have completed. So when I give myself too many goals, too many boxes to check off, and I'm not getting them perfectly, then I just wipe the whole slate clean and I'm like, well, then I'm not gonna do anything. So this year, I think I'm gonna start small and then see where I feel led um, to ramp it up a little bit. So with all that being said, I am going to continue on in main the main subjects that I typically make intentions in. Those are faith, fitness, finances, homeschooling, and now video content creating. So for my faith, um, I think that faith is so important and it's always where I like to start because for me personally, my foundation is found in Christ. And if my foundation is not firm, it is leaking out into the rest of my life and it becomes very, very difficult. So I always start there. My goal every year is to grow closer to Christ and just to be able to hear his voice and know where he is leading me and be sure that I am following. If you are not a believer, I know this can kind, kind of sound weird, but stick with me. Um, it's just my way of wanting to be close to my creator and living my life the way he's intended me to. So I once heard this quote, and I think it was Candace Cameron Bure that said it, where she, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher the quote, but she, they asked her a question how she dealt with things and just stuff coming at her and kind of the negativity that could follow. And she said that her first, her purpose in life, her first purpose is to worship God. And she kind of placed everything else around that. So if what she was doing was worshiping and pleasing to the Lord, then it didn't matter what anybody else was saying because this, that was her first and primary goal. And I think that a lot of times we can stray from that and try to please the world and we are never going to be able to please everyone in this world. I think we can see, especially in this times, that you are not going to please everybody. It is just not gonna happen. And so to kind of look through that lens view and say, is this where God is leading me? Is this what I feel that is worshiping to him? This is pleasing to him. This is filter everything through that. I, 
I don't typically pick a word of the year. Um, sometimes I will do scripture, but this year I actually took this little like test on, I will try to link it down below. It was on a Christian website. I think it was on Dayspring. I'll, I'll try to find it and link it for you down below. But I thought it would be fun to kind of just look and see what they said. And the word that they gave me was presence. And I've kind of been marinating on that a little bit and thinking about it. And I think that that is a good reminder for me to just remember that I am constantly in the presence of the Lord and what that means. That means that when I am in the presence of the Lord, there is joy, there is peace, there is not chaos, there is not fear. When I am in the presence of the Lord, I am safe and loved. And um, I just think for me mentally, that will help so much to remember that and keep that on the forefront of my mind. So it's not really a goal or intention, but it's kind of where I am trying to lead out the year in. So the only real goal that I have, like tangible goal that I have for my faith section or whatever you would call it is to read the Bible in a year. I'm going to start up again and do the Bible recap. I did this a couple years ago and really enjoyed it. What it is, I will link that down below for you also if you'd like to see it, but it is on, if you have the Bible app on your phone, you can get the plan that way, or you can go to the website and print it out. I have done both. I have it on my phone, on the, the plan on my phone, and then I also have printed it out in, I have a prayer journal or war binder, whatever you wanna call it, um, and I printed it out and put it in here. I will link the video where I did that if you wanna see that um, up for you. But you essentially just read different passages and throughout the year you'll end up reading the Bible in one year. But what is unique I think about this plan and why I love it so much is that there is a podcast that goes with it and the host Tara Lee Cobble does this little what she calls a Bible snapshot and she goes over what we've read for the day, her take on it and what she got from it and it's just nice to have someone to talk to or not talk to but listen to um, and digest further I guess of what you've read and just get like another perspective on what you were reading or sometimes it's the same perspective so I really enjoyed doing that and you take it in bite-sized chunks throughout the year and read through the year I don't think there are any days that are like non-reading days meaning it's like a catch-up day or anything like that I think you have a reading for every day of the year but some are definitely shorter than others so if that's something you'd like to try out, let me know down below. I'd love to do it alongside you, but that's what I think we're going to step into. We be me. <laughs> step into the new year, and that's what my faith goal will be or intention for this upcoming year. Speaking with the kind of fluidity of my goals, I'm just going to start small. So that one thing is all I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with trying to get back on to reading the Bible, reading alongside the Bible recap. And then essentially throughout the year, I'll have read the Bible in a year. But that's what I meant by fluid goals. I'm just going to pick one small thing and start there and then build on that. I'm not going to pick a huge plan and then try to get it all done the first month. So then the next subject, fitness. This is going to be something different for me in the way that I've set up what my intentions are for my fitness category. Normally I am on either a cut, meaning I am trying to lose weight for a little while. I decided to just um, try to build muscle and kind of put aside my, my macros. I like to count macros. I have some videos of past fitness journeys and past plans and things like that if you want to see those but I like counting macros. I like that it doesn't cut out anything from my diet. I get to kind of pick and choose as long as it fits in my macros. This time for the first 90 days or so, and I'm just gonna say 90 days, but if it switches up a month in, then that's fine too. Like I said, we're gonna be fluid. We're just gonna kind of go with um, what's happening and see what my body says or gives me feedback on. So for the first 90 days though, I am going to eat at maintenance macros. I have never done that before in my life. I have either been cutting or not counting macros at all. So this will be interesting to see what my body does when it is at maintenance macros. And then what that means is maintenance is, it'll just keep you at the weight that you're at now. So you're not, if you wanna to try to cut, you would 
cut your macros or calories down a little bit. Maintenance is just gonna keep you where you are now. So I'm going to try to do that. I will go into depth into my plan of how I'm doing it and what what how I figured out my macros and that kind of thing um, in a different video. But for the overall view, I'm gonna eat at maintenance and I'm gonna to try to work out three to four times a week. I, I'm not sure yet if four days will be strength training or if three days will be strength training and one will be like a lighter, strictly cardio or stretch or something like that, but we'll see. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go through that a little bit more in a separate video, but that's kind of what my fluid goal is for fitness, is that I'm gonna eat at maintenance, I'm gonna work out consistently, and I'm just gonna kinda see where my body leads me and what happens when I do that, because this is something that I've never done before. So I do expect to see some changes. I'm gonna do the measurements, pictures, all those things, but, um, we'll do the details in another video, but that's in my fitness school, what we're heading into the new year doing. I want to work closely in my fitness section, um, not just physical fitness, but mental fitness as well. Um, so my mental well-being, I've been doing a lot of work this last couple of months. I mean, really the last year I dove in deeper on how my gut health and my physical health affect my mental health and how that all ties in. Um, even down to like my cycle, I noticed that with hormones and things, it really affected me in a lot of physical ways as well as mental ways. And so I wanna hone in these first 90 days and kind of take a look at that and not just look at my physical goals in my fitness section, but my mental as well. So I wanna tie those both in together and not just make my fitness category um, a physical change and what I want my body to look like, but what I think my body can be versus like, meaning how strong I think I can be both physically and mentally. I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you're still with me. For finances, we are trying again to, or I mean still, really, we never really stopped, but we want to hone in and see if we can save up for a down payment. We would really love to stop moving so often. I know my kids would love to stop moving and I would love to stop moving my kids around so much too. We are incredibly blessed that, um, we have a roof over our head and that it is comfortable, but when you rent and when you constantly move, there are things that you start to notice in uh, not just yourself, but in the kiddos. I've noticed, especially my older one, where he feels like it's not permanent. And I have felt it's not permanent. I put up less and less pictures, less and less decor, even though I know we can use like the 3M commands and put them up and take them down. It won't do too much damage, but you just get into the, I think this mind frame where you're like, or at least we have. We're gonna move in a few years anyway, so kind of what's the point? And this last move was a little tough mentally, I think, on all of us. So we're gonna hone in on our finances, see if that is God's will for us to save up for a down payment. And I say that because I've talked about this before where we have saved up a little bit of money and then we've had job losses or we've had other life events that happened and we've had to use that money for something else. And so, Clearly that money was earmarked by God for something else. And we try to just trust in that. And I won't say that it's always easy. Sometimes it's very hard to watch what you thought that the savings was for be depleted by other things, whether that is, like I said, job loss or other family members. It just that needed help and stuff. And we're happy that we were able to do that. Um, and, but then you're back to trying to start saving all over again. And so that's why I kind of go into it saying, if this is God's will for us to be able to save and do this, um, that's what our hope is. So that's what we're hoping and praying for. With that, I'm planning on doing another no spend, possibly low spend planner year. Last year, I was using up what I had in my planner budget. Uh, we didn't have a set budget for planner supplies, but that's kind of like the only real thing that I was doing for myself, buying for myself. And so I decided to use up what I had, use my planner stash as best as I could. And we did for the most part, I didn't spend very much at all. This year, I'm going to track what I'm spending. I just think it would be a fun experiment to see how um, how much or how little I can, I'm can i spending on planner supplies. But we're really going to go into this year and try to 
track the finances, cut where we can. Like I've said before, we run a pretty slim ship anyways. We don't have a lot of subscriptions. We don't um, do too much shopping. We do a lot of thrift shopping though. So you'll see that on this channel as well. Um, we try to get what we can secondhand first if possible. And yeah, so <laughs> I we may end up having to cut that down a little bit as well just because that is a good chunk of change. But kids need clothes. There are times when my kiddos, it's kind of it's kind of a fun little adventure for them. So it's a fun little field trip. <laughs> Going and searching thrift stores. I'm laughing because I know that this can sound funny to some people, but um, if you've seen some of our thrift stuff, my kids really enjoy going and doing that. And that's where we get a lot of our books and things like that too. So maybe having a set plan and a set amount that we can spend before we go would be helpful. But we're going to see where our spending is going and hone in to, to see how much we can get saved, God willing, so that we can purchase something. And then for our homeschool, homeschooling, there's gonna be a whole nother video. There's a homeschool collab on New Year's resolutions or homeschool resolutions. And I kind of feel like that just will kind of go in there. There's gonna be a lot more fluid. So if you wanna catch that, that video will actually come out on Wednesday. Um, so if you're not subscribed, you may wanna hit that subscribe button, bell notifications, all the things so you don't miss it. But we're gonna go into our homeschool and kind of take a look at what's working, what's not, what can we change, what doesn't need to be changed, those kind of things. And then the last one is content creating. I don't really set a goal of being like, this is the year I'm gonna get monetized because I don't really know that that's something that I can control. I can't control how many of y'all want to subscribe. I put out um, videos that I think, I hope you might enjoy and then hope for the best, right? <laughs> um, but I think for this upcoming year, what I'm going to do is Concentrate on what brings me joy, what I enjoy filming. I think for a little while this last year, I really was looking at these numbers and kind of letting them dictate my emotions. I would see smaller channels that like clicked and boomed and had over a thousand subscribers in less than a year. And here we are going on almost two years here on YouTube and we're still not there. But that wasn't the point of me making videos and that wasn't the whole entire point of creating a channel it would be nice to be able to bring in a little bit to help the family but i think more so i love that my kids get to see mommy pursuing a dream and doing it my kids have expressed interest in creating and editing and learning and i just think that that's great and that's fascinating and that's just another facet of homeschooling that is just beautiful i mean you can do it even if you don't homeschool but you know, creating these courses and doing these things for them. And then them getting to see mommy do something that her heart was set on and she's fulfilling that. And so I think I'm gonna look more so on that and what brings me joy, what kind of things I like to share. And I hope that you'll stick around and that you enjoy seeing some of these too. I don't really have a small niche kind of thing of what I'm doing. I'm not just, um, a homeschool channel I'm not just a mom lifestyle channel I'm not just a fitness channel I'm not just a books channel we kind of do a little bit of everything on here and I hope that you enjoy that um, and I hope that you'll stay with us if you're already a subscriber if you're already a subscriber I can't tell you how much joy you have brought us throughout this year and I do say us because my whole family gets excited when we see the numbers go up or sometimes I will read comments when y'all are leaving comments and it just brings us so much joy to see and to interact with you and i hope to do more of that in the new year so that's kind of my intention my hope for the new year in content creating is that i'm going to create what brings us joy what i think would be fun to share and i hope that you'll stick around for that and i hope that you'll join if you're not already a subscriber so on that i think we will end this I, i'm pretty sure this is going to be a cozy up with a, a nice drink video so hopefully you enjoyed your time here with me if you did would you please give this video a thumbs up and again if you're not subscribed we'd love to have you join our little family here it really does bring us so much joy and it is a family adventure on our side and as always if you don't know or if you just need to be reminded may be the one to tell you that you are deeply and truly loved and so so appreciated 
as always, I appreciate you taking your time out and spending it here with me. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm looking forward to our adventures in the new year, and I hope that you'll stick around with me for them. Thank you.